just a quick thing that's been on my mind so i just drove in from the gym i just drove in from my morning exercises this morning and so there's something i shared in church on thursday which has been so strongly on my mind and that's there from matthew chapter 14 from verse 22 to 33 of course you know the popular story about how peter asked the lord if he be thou bid me come on the sea and the lord asked him to come and while he was working he started looking around saw the turbulent waves he started doubting and became scared and started sinking how be I'm not talking about how Peter sank or how he lost faith or how he was scared. However, there's just this thing that has been on my mind and that's particularly verse 32. And that's where the Bible says, and when they were come to the ship. Now, after Jesus had reached out to Peter and grabbed Peter from sinking, and the Bible says, uh, now when they were come to the ship, it therefore means that even after Peter tried to sink and Jesus grabbed him, they continued walking on the sea to the ship. It absolutely sounds very salient you know or, or maybe silent but so powerful so peter sank and it still didn't stop him from walking on the sea because jesus came grabbed him by the hand and then they came they walked together to the ship i thought that was an absolute blessing so peter made a mistake that caused him to sink jesus came held him by the hand and they still walked on the sea so his mistakes did not stop his exploits because the hand of the Lord was stretched out to him. He still walked on the waters. He still walked on the waters. The devil tried to bring fear, bring doubt, bring faithlessness and seeming hopelessness, but he still walked on the sea. And so I don't know, but I just need to encourage someone. I just, if I need to tell someone this, you need to hear me. No matter what the devil has tried to bring about and try to bring to you, try to bring against you, you in this season i came with a word from god to you today you will still walk on the water you will still walk on the water because naturally you would have thought that okay so peter has sang oh jesus grabbed him and that was the end of his walking no sir jesus grabbed him and the bible said when they were come to the ship so that presupposes there was still a walking to the ship peter still walked even if he was walking back to the ship at least the guy still walked on the water the same thing the devil wanted to sink him in. I came to let you know. I know they heard about how you walked on the sea the last time and then the devil tried to attack you and it looked like, oh my goodness, I've lost what it, no, 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 no. The supernatural is still in you. That's who you are. You are spirit. You are above this world. You are seated with Christ in the heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. When men shall say there's a casting down, you will declare there's a lifting up. Okay, I mean, I just needed to tell you this because it's just been bubbling in my heart. And so please give me a high five wherever you are. Give me a high five. Ah, <laughs> you will still walk on the water. Please talk back to me. I am still walking on the water. Love you. I love you very much. Please have a blessed day.